discouraging others I wouldn't discourage anybody not to travel if I wish I wasn't um, I was given the choice I would have probably traveled later and to a different country I'll be honest about that not to a German speaking country I would, I'd rather be an English speaking country but coming to Germany at an early age has helped me to um, learn a new language you know? Welcome back to my channel. This is the Phoebe Way and on the Phoebe Way we talk about life in Germany, how to navigate through the whole bureaucratic brouhaha in Germany. Listen, life in Germany is not for the weak at heart. There's a lot going on with the language barrier, with the, you having to learn the language, with the legal setup, especially coming from an English speaking country and all that. And this is what the Phoebe Way is here for. You might have guessed. My name is Phoebe. Today's video is a bit different. Um, the very first time I uploaded a video on YouTube, I talked about what you should know before you move to Germany. I've been in Germany now for the past 18 years, 2004 till 2022, so 18 years. My math is still good, well. Wow. <laughs> and um, there are some things that I've noticed you have to be prepared for before coming okay I've written them down on my phone and I'm just going to go through those points with you and just have an open mind and open heart and if you're already in Germany you already traveled away from home it's not just tied to Germany but if you are going to travel very soon or you are actually on the verge of traveling or you're already in Germany and you are new or you've been in Germany for a while these are just some thoughts for you to um, think yes I just like some impulses you know thought impulses um, for you to just think about and go through and so you're not too shocked so let me find the list I have a few lists about things I want to talk to you guys about yes so five things you should know before moving abroad let me say abroad because it's not just tied to Germany number one be prepared for the culture shocks be prepared for the culture shocks Every country has a different set of cultures, different set of traditions, different sets of rules, and sometimes it even it's even different when you're moving from one region to another region in the same country. So visiting Berlin, for example, coming from down south here in Stuttgart and going to Berlin is totally different, entirely different. For example, and that is one thing. But coming all the way from Sekendi Takradi in Ghana to Stuttgart, no, I wasn't even in Stuttgart. I was in Waldstadt. It's a village, yes, in um, Germany, down south Germany. It was a big shock for me. And I've talked about this in one of my videos from last year. I'm going to put the link here for you guys to know the kind of culture shock that I went through. And up till date, I still experience culture shocks. The more I interact with German people, the deeper I go into the culture, I get to learn more rules that I'm like, why 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 but then in the end it makes sense you know because it works for this country and that's why this country is still this country because the the culture and the rules work for them okay so be prepared for the culture shocks if you're used to drinking your tea with milk and sugar you realize when it comes to germany there are kind of there are different kinds of fruit teas that do not go well with milk. There are different um, rules when it comes to dinner. Listen, I've talked about it in that video, so just prepare for those culture shocks. That's one thing that you already feel you would experience, but you would be <laughs> you would be shocked by the depth of the culture shocks and the number of culture shocks you're going to experience. Okay. Number two. When you are leaving home, right, be prepared that the time you come back, things might have or must have changed. Be prepared for the changes you will meet at home when you come back. So in my experience, the first time I went to Ghana, after being away for that long, I realized that everybody else's life had gone on and had, had you know, evolved in many ways various ways that I didn't even expect 
it was due to breaking communication with certain people with certain family members because as a child for example i didn't have access to everyone at the same time some of my cousins and i realized that they had evolved the, the jokes they were telling were different i was still remembering those jokes that we were telling each other in 2004 and when i had gone back in 2016 things had totally totally changed okay in a form it's good because everybody's supposed to change change is the only sure thing in life but then you have to pray in mind that when you go back you're going to make change and that you would also go back a changed person be sure of that because you would think oh i'm still african i'm still you know uh, uh, what do we say pure african i'm not going to change but they won't change my eyes and that, that, that listen the the behavior is going to change some of your thinking is going to change and it would show in your actions it would show in your utterances it would show in the way you think and the way you act with other people so the change is both sides within you and around you and also when you come back home it's also going to be another thing as I'm talking about change is also that as you are leaving beware that you'd be saying goodbye to some of those people for the last time it is a fact that some of us do not want to think about it could be you but it could also be them especially when it comes to our grandparents or our older parents you know just beware that even through your throughout your absence you are going to maintain communication and the affection and let them know that they are loved by you respected by you cherished by you make sure that that is done right um and so that by the time they pass away which sometimes is inevitable you would have a different way of mourning or uh, a more peaceful way of mourning and um, I just lost the thought but yeah just just be beware of that part as well and also as you are here prepare your insurances just prepare for that this point is also one of the reasons why I am strongly against illegal migration because sometimes your loved one would would pass away but you will not be able to be there for your funeral because you are undocumented a lot of people are going through this have gone through this and it was painful I've heard stories of people who would say when I was leaving my mother was there I came back and she was already buried I couldn't even say goodbye properly and all of that keep these things in mind it is not pleasant to think about these but it's part of life and you probably should another thing that I wished I had known was the certainty of me not knowing everything that is also like in connection to the culture shocks but also you've been in a new place you wouldn't know exactly where everything is at the same time and that is why I encourage you to join communities expert communities on Facebook for example go out when when you come to a new place to join clubs if you like basketball join a club if you love um, knitting join a knitting club if you love sewing join sewing so that you would have people who are similar to you at least in some way and they would also have other interests and would also be able to help you in certain um, situations you know so definitely definitely you are going to be uh, thrown into the unknown okay that is one thing you're going to be sure of you're not going to have all the information and all the knowledge at once be aware of that before leaving your home country and that is also another reason why I say that before you leave make sure you have some kind of contact person in the new place if you're going to study try to find out if there are other Nigerians on that campus if there are other Ghanaians on that campus if there are other Indians on that campus try to find that out so that you'll be able to connect with these other people and then one thing that I know was with my mom was parenting the challenges in parenting um, there are going to be different challenges also has to do with the culture shock but beware of challenges in parenting beware of challenges in um, work ethics work culture these are things that you have to just brace yourself for 
before you come and as I always say with the readiness and the openness to adapt to some of them of course not everything has to work for you but try to um, open your mind and yourself a bit to make life easier for you and then be prepared for the loneliness loneliness in two aspects one aspect of the loneliness is that you're really alone and some of us enjoy our own company which is good and nice but then you are alone in the sense that you are the only Ghanaian who knows or feels this way the other people might be from other countries as well you might be in an international um, environment but you are still alone in who you are okay and that is one big part of loneliness that no, nothing or nobody can prepare you for even if you feel like oh um, there are other Ghanaians and all that you feel different you are still the only person who is new we just came two weeks ago you get it so that kind of loneliness I don't know if there's a, a professional term for it but I felt like that for a long time that my case is different you know I'm different um, not to do with skin color and all that but your case was always is always different in the beginning until you've gotten used to your environment until you feel at home and all of that you're always going to feel like you're different can I do the same thing the others are doing and all of that that is one thing and the other part the other side of loneliness is just you being alone not having many friends that you have to resort to um, phone conversations uh, calls um, video calls that's the word I'm looking for video calls and all of that for you to be able to um, connect with people that you know so your your friends are not going to be close to you your family is not going to be close to you and that also is one thing that I feel um, you should be prepared for now this is a bit off topic but a lot of I've been reading some tweets where people are like Yes, you guys abroad are always saying don't come, um, stay home, it's better and all of that. It's because of various reasons. Um, for example, as I've said, the culture shock, you being lonely, especially when you are not documented and you're living here illegally. Um, the fear that you, 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 you struggle with daily and you know sometimes also mental illness depression is real especially when you're alone in a new country all these things are things that go through your mind daily you see the police and you feel like running and then you have racism and all of that and then you know in in Ghana for example if you don't have money you just stay home your neighbor is going to play loud music somehow I wish it should be for baby Abba, you know but here, it's if you don't have that human capital or you don't have people you know, you don't know your way around, you're going to be frustrated really fast. And sometimes when that knocks you down and you're going through that, you're like, ah, I wish I was home. Home was much better. That is what a lot of people feel and a lot of people go through. And that is why some people um, lean towards discouraging others. I wouldn't discourage anybody not to travel. If I wish I wasn't... Um, I was given the choice, I would have probably traveled later and to a different country, I'll be honest about that, not to a German speaking country, I would, I'd rather be an English speaking country, but coming to Germany at an early age has helped me to um, learn a new language, you know, I've also built something here for myself as well, but it would have been way easier in an English speaking country, a country like um, like the UK, Canada, and the US, you know, it would have been way, way easier for me. But then I'm here, so I make the best out of it. But as I'm saying, sometimes if you're going somewhere, I would always encourage people not to do it the illegal way. Come through studying through the university, apply as a student, apply for a job, um, and all of that. Because asylum is not easy. Sometimes, even before you go for the interview, your mind is going crazy. You don't know what is going to happen. And then the Ghanaians or the other Nigerians that you'd ask are always going to talk from their perspective and what worked for them. And what worked for Mr. X is not going to work for Mr. Y. I always say that. What worked for me might not work for you because our stories are different, our lives are different, our names are different. Even the place we come from are different. 
if the information is not there and you're here illegally it's it's difficult you can't work you would want to work the money you're getting from the state is not enough because you have other responsibilities so many things so many things then um that's why i always say if you're going to move do it legally so the last point is before you move abroad try as much as possible to make it the legal way okay um get a job just make life easier for you because depression is real and the worst that could happen is that you'd be deported and you have to start all over again and not everybody is strong for that so guys this is the topic that has been on my heart for a while and i decided to just um talk about it today and hope you enjoyed it hope you have other thoughts that you think people should know and consider before moving abroad Please, please, please comment those down in the comment section below. Um, I've gotten messages on Facebook and Instagram. I do answer that sometimes it takes a while. And on Twitter, I'm so sorry. Twitter on Twitter it takes me a long time to uh, reply because I have to switch be in between accounts, and I sometimes I just forget. I have the Phoebe way on Twitter as well. So please, please forgive me if I've not yet answered. I will come to it. As you know, I'm also going through a bit of a tough time. Not a bit. I'm going through a tough time. Um, in brief so sometimes the phone is there but no energy to pick it up and all that so um please forgive me if i've not uh, replied your messages yet and um i will okay i will do that and then also what else yes comment down below if you like this video do well to give it a thumbs up share to others who might need this and if you want us to talk about anything you want me to do a video on any topic please please just comment down below or as i said suggest that to me um via dm on insta facebook facebook and twitter take a care of yourselves and just to next in mind Adi.